Thanks for tuning in to SIP Records 1. Um, today we came to do an easy repair on the HP uh, 15. HP 15 is a touch screen, but uh, this method works for any touch screen or non-touch. Um, things you'll be needing is a Phillips screwdriver and I like a card or something to wiggle around the edges. So what you want to do is you want to close it. Go ahead and flip it over. Now you got to take out all the screws around the edges. So first you want to make sure you take that battery off. You don't want to have any uh, issues, electrical, touching anything by mistake. Next, you want to go up here to this little door here and take these screws off. I like opening up my doors before taking the screws off. You can just pop it out, just pull it on and give it a little tug and it'll come right off. Set it to the side. You got screws in here. You want to take all these out as well. So once you got all those screws out, now you want to come over here to your CD-ROM. That's the screw for the CD-ROM right there. Slide the CD-ROM out, and they will set it to the side. There will be three screws on this side right here. Take all three out. Make sure you set all your screws in a designated place so you won't lose them. Flip it over. Grab, hold down, don't just pull on it uh, too tough. Make sure you pull it up slowly. You don't want to rip the screws um, of your base apart. Because then you have a, another issue. You want to remove this keyboard first. There's screws under there. Take your card, wiggle it in the edges. Pry it up. Flip it over. See this little black little clip? You just pull up on it, take two if you have to, and wiggle it loose from there. And set your keyboard to the side. Now over here you take these off, this ribbon. You got your power one, lift up on the little clip. There's like a little white clip. See? Lift up, release that. Now you take all your screws out. I already took the screws out there, there, um, and there, and there. So just make sure you got all your screws taken out. Once you've taken all the screws out, come around your edges right here. Kind of pry it up in there and go around it. The whole go around the whole base of it. Once you've done that, come to the front. Add a little pressure while doing it. And pull it up on it at the same time. Set it to the side. I have another that I will be replacing with the one that I just removed. Before replacing, check your fans just in case there's dust inside and you don't put this thing all the way back together and have another issue a couple months down the line. Down at the bottom Let's go ahead and remove this memory. Remember, it's stopping the motherboard from coming out. There are your arrows right there. You have an arrow right there, right there, 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 and there. Don't pull up on it too hard because there's other wires underneath. So you want to make sure you come over here, pull it up a little bit, right here, there's a cable, just pull down on it, it comes loose. Flip it over, slowly, and right over here, this is your power. So you want to grab them and pull slowly, wiggle and it snaps right on loose. This is your motherboard, be careful. Set it to the side. Over here on your screen part, make sure you take off your screws. You got one right there and one right there. You got this main one to the board. You got your, you got your Wi-Fi wire over here, so be careful not to rip it from the base. So now remove. And there you go. Disassemble. 
we're going to take this one away. We have our other one here, the base. Repeat the same process over. So I'm going to pause the video and just come back once I got it back connected to this one. We're taking this from the old one and putting it on the one we want to repair. Slide your keyboard. You don't want to press it all the way back down. Just um, get it on there enough so that you can test it. There we go. Take your power wire. I don't have the battery connected. Power on. So it's firing on. So now that it powered on, powered up pretty fast, right? So now you want to move your mouse around. Hold your finger down in the middle of the mouse and see if it starts to glitch. So you have any glitch and you have the power hook, so you may be okay. Move the wire around, double click, goes right to the page. Check your keyboard. Everything is fine, no glitch. And there you go. Everything is back to normal. Just power it off and put your screws and everything back together. And there you have it. Those that just watched uh, this repair, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe on me and also like the video as well.